Hello on this beautiful morning. I am out, well, it's afternoon now. I am out here on my new grind and I am just loving it. You know, I was sitting here thinking, I'm sitting at discount tire trying to get air in my tire. I didn't know the line was going to be that long. You know, when you're trying to get something done, every adversary possible shows up, but it does stretches, number one, your faith. If you wasn't getting no kind of adversary, then maybe you weren't supposed to be doing it. If it comes too easy, maybe it ain't for you. Maybe it's too good to be true. But number two, I'm sitting here getting ready to go do my new job, just, you know, excited. And I'm sitting here in this line and I got to exercise patience. You know, maybe there's some reason why the adversary showed up, you know, was meant for evil. God means for good. I don't know, maybe waiting for the right blessing or the right person to come along. <laughs> um... I shared my new job yesterday with some friends. I told them, I say, I'm going to have to charge you now. You know, I'm going to have to give, you have to pay something. I told I charged her a, a double gulp, Dr. Pepper, knowing something I ain't supposed to have. <laughs> she said she didn't have it, but uh, she was very excited about my new venture or whatever, just a new platform to try to win souls to Christ. Um, I'm driving now. I was driving for my kids. I might as well drive for me. Just out here meeting people. Enjoying. Like, well, I ain't got nothing else to do and I'm riding around in the caddy anyway. I might as well help somebody, take somebody somewhere. So, my boss say, I should say my boss, my the lady I'm contracted with, she said, you going to let people floss in your caddy? Yeah, I'm going to let people floss in my caddy. I ain't too good about the ones that had them service animals, but you know, I ain't going to turn them away. God is no respect to a person. But um, I got some cleaning supplies immediately when I get them out the car or whatever. But we're going to try to see how this go. Like I said, I don't know. It looks like we got some movement going on at Discount Tire. But I just wanted to come on here and tell people, you know, you got to change your energy. You got to change your vibe. We're moving up. You got you to gotta have good vibes, positive vibes. If you don't have good vibes or positive vibes, ain't no way in the world you're going to be successful. Success comes through positive energy. Now, just because I ain't got a smile on my face all the time don't mean that I don't have no positive energy. 95% of the time, because y'all know I'm a behavior analyst, I'm observing. You know, I'm, I'm checking you out, you know, to see what your energy is, how you going to come to me. I'm always doing that, especially with these men. You know, successful women, we're vulnerable. You know, they come to us. And, you know, we want to say that they want us for us, but they see the car, the money, the success, the positivity, and all they want to do is come and use our favor, use our glory or whatever. But um, we got to be mindful. We got to be observant. We got to be careful, you know, because everybody ain't coming to you for you. That's why you got to be patient. You got to wait. You got to sit and you got to stir. You know, you know, it's say sow. You know, when you sow, you got to sit there and let it manifest, let it harvest. If it don't harvest nothing, if it fall by the wayside, like that other message, or, or you'll see if it fall on sunny ground, whatever, but sit there and receive a harvest let it manifest a harvest before you 
make any kind of long-term decisions on something that may be temporary situations. But anyway, I'm out here living my best life. I wake up when I want to wake up, go to bed when I want to go to bed. I was just up this morning, three, five, three to five o'clock this morning, just talking to God. I say, like, I'm not used to this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to get up and study or, or go back to sleep or whatever. I sat there and talked to him for a minute. You know, it's amazing. I'm truly loving the fact that my baby boy has left the nest and he's challenging, you know, he's on his journey. I'm raising him up from a Bluetooth. I got my daughter. We loving it. She, she not understanding and she got too much time because ain't so much cleaning. You know, we just, she ain't never really got to put the dishes away. We use the same ones. Ain't never got to load the dishwasher. It ain't but the two of us. We, we cook a couple of meals and would that lasts through the week or it's cheaper for us to go out to eat. So she's loving it, living the life. <laughs> but like I say, for your health, live your best life. For your health, be happy. Don't be around toxic people that cause all kind of drama. They don't respect you. You know, they, they give you all nothing but stress and worry. For your own, because, you know, stress kills and it'll take you out of here. Like I say, I am living my best life. Blood sugar is normal. And I'm just enjoying life. Doing what I want to do when I want to do it. I'm always going to glorify God. That's just what I want to do. But in the midst of that, I'm found in different situations. I'm just flowing learn to enjoy your life enjoy yourself that's what a lot of us don't do we don't know how to enjoy our life we too busy trying to take care of everybody and everything I'm gonna throw these windows up I got a hummingbird or something coming um the wasp around my car all the windows is up um we don't know how to enjoy life Learn financial literacy. The way you can save and have money. You know, money ain't everything, but you know, money is the answer to all things. You know, it takes money to move ministry, to move, you know, it takes money. That's the currency right now, is money. But learn to save some money. Learn to be able to hold two quarters and rub two quarters together in your pocket. Learn to, to plan, you know, take trips or something. You know, whatever you want to do. Oppression is living under the control of somebody else. The manipulation of somebody else. I've come out of a few relationships where I've fallen in love with a man. And that man was seeing somebody else or he was just using me for my money. Using me for my time, my car, my education, my experience. But he had no inkling to try to, you know, build a life. You know, we got some that say that. But then you don't know what type of life you're trying to build. Especially when they marry. Or, you know, they got this significant other they've been with for years or months or whatever you just a side chick so that's oppression that mental manipulation narcissists are known for that you know that's their playground so learn to enjoy life learn to live life on your terms make sure your terms is on God's terms because Make sure you're doing your purpose that he created you for because if you're not, you're not going to make it in. You're not going to make it in doing what you want to do. You got to fulfill the, the, the plan that he has for your life. 
in order to make it in, in order to hear that well done, thy good and faithful servant. So being saved, sexy, and single is being happy, living your best life, being positive in your mind, in your body, that's your health and your strength, and in your spirit. Everything aligns with the purpose and the plan that God has for you. No oppression, no manipulation, no gaslighting. You know, we can gaslight and manipulate our own self into believing something that we want to believe. We don't see things as they are. People come at us for all kind of things and we want to try to put our own spin on it. We want to try to, we moving again. We want to try to put our own spin on it. And we want to try to believe what we want to believe. You know, we want to get benefit of the doubt. We want to try this, do that. But when they showed us who they were, when they showed up, we just didn't want to believe it. So a lot of us are dealing with heartache, heart heartache, and, you know, they're hurt. Heartache, that's why I call it heartache. Um, but as you forgive and that starts to, Leave your heart. Let it go. Let it leave your heart. Just begin to live your best life. That's how you get back at people. Is you go on and do you. Live your best life. You ain't got to worry about getting no revenge for nobody. Just live your best life. And when you live your best life without them, it is different. I'm going to get off of here because I think I'm finna to be next. I just want to come on here and encourage somebody. Live your best life. You only get but one. Well, I've had a couple t chances, but that's not promised to anybody. So use the one you got. Cherish it. Don't take it for granted. Stay blessed.